You have come into the studio with a giant pizza. That is step number one in adulting. Is Vitaly Paley. It's Wednesday, so of course it's time for another edition of That Is So Portland. But Matt Safino still on vacation, so we brought in a celebrity replacement. Not only is he a chef, but a James Beard Award winning chef. Again, Mr. Vitaly Paley, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me, Kevin. You didn't have sunglasses, so hopefully it's not too bright in here for you. But things are bright right now because you're celebrating a year at your, is this your newest restaurant? Can I say that? The Crown? Kind of. How many do you of. have now? Yeah. <laughs> so we call it three and a half because okay. Crown is attached to Imperial yes. in the same building. So <laughs> sort of, but it definitely, it's got its own life, it's got its own personality, and it's got its own focus, as you can see, pizza. Are the pizzas always that large? Because that one picture on the screen looks huge, and some of them look like normal round pizzas, and then the one in front of us is... I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just, it, I'm amazed. Yeah. To, to be, to be, to be certain, we make regular pies. We make them in 12 inch and 18 inch. We have a wonderful menu selection. But sometimes when you can't make a choice and you've got a lot of people coming to dinner, this is what we do. So we have, we call this an imperial pie. As you can notice, we got what? some fried chicken, some uh, pickles, yes. hot sauce, more pickles, hot and some sauce. ranch dressing. Pepperoni, everybody loves a pepperoni, mm -hmm. right? And you gotta separate it by some vegetables. So we call this there fresca, <laughs> roasted tomatoes, some arugula pesto, some fresh arugula. Oh. We cut them up, people just come and get them. Uh, you can add more or less Ooh, or not at okay. all. okay. Is this the hot sauce that's on that there? That is the hot sauce, wow. we make it in Imperial. It's Fancy. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, and through Friday, since you guys are celebrating your birthday, people can actually get kind of get free pizza so they gotta buy some pizza well but. you gotta buy a, buy a slice but because we're going into a second year the second slice is free so that's so smart one so like next year do people have to buy two slices and then a third slice is free we can talk about it then <laughs> we'll plan but for now we'll we have a lot of pizza and i think the fried chicken pizza is, is a perfect transition because we're talking about things that are weird mm -hmm. that are happening around portland mm -hmm. clearly you don't shy away from putting kind of weird things on pizza do any really weird things ever happen at any of your restaurants Oh gosh, we're downtown. <laughs> Many things weird happen in our restaurants all the time, but uh, we just go with the flow. Portland, right. Portland presents challenges and happy surprises every day. We just go with it. Yes. So we always, every week, ask people on Twitter and Facebook to tweet us with hashtag that is so Portland to show us all the crazy, cool, unique, awesome, weird things happening around town. So this first one, uh, Kari says, when you're in line for voodoo and suddenly the folks in front of you are getting married. Oh my. Has that ever happened in any of your shops? <laughs> uh, we've, we've had people propose, <gasps> get on their knees, oh and the gosh. whole room just kind of went up. And, oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. Some people cried. We just hand them glasses of champagne and congratulate them. Do they ever call you ahead of time and they're like, can you hide a ring inside this and, piece of fried chicken? And that has happened too, <gasps> many times. That's, what an inside honor. Of a cake inside of an oyster. Wow, oh, genius. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. watching at home, those are some oh, good yeah. ideas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our next crazy thing. You know, sometimes you're walking through Portland and all of a sudden you see a little shop to have tea, have tea on us. I'm wondering, this was posted on Sunday morning, so maybe it was at the Naked Bike Ride, do you think? Well, you know, we're famous for our coffee, but tea is pretty good too. I'd yeah. Go, I'd go for a cup of tea about now. Right, at Headwaters you got the whole fancy That's Russian right. tea service. Rush, exactly, Russian but tea. But sometimes you just want a casual tea on a street corner, right? Hey, it goes. <laughs> okay, then do ever any dogs ever show up to your places? Because this is a very, very hipster dog here in Portland. <laughs> Cedar Dog, 503. We happen to be located inside the hotels that are dog friendly. So both, both the Heathman Hotel and Lucia are very much dog friendly hotel, which is definitely part of the Portland DYI scene. Uh, unfortunately, restaurants are not allowed to have dogs <laughs> right. unless they're service dogs. But you've got lovely windows. You but we do have lovely, exactly. You can observe look out there. <laughs> Wow. Well, thank you so much. Thank Chef you for Vitaly having me. Bailey. You never know what kind of crazy things will happen all around Portland at all of your three and a half restaurants. <laughs> and if you want to go to the Crown again through Friday at six o'clock, two for one pizza slices, thecrownpdx.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.